Hello everyone, my name is Abby Bliss White and welcome to my channel. It is that time again. It is monthly favorites. So happy March. Can't believe how fast the months are whizzing by. But I'm so excited because I have got a bunch of fun goodies from the past month. I've got some makeup items, some skincare, and I did do a bit of travel. So I have a few more fashion items this month than normal, but I did pick up some of those goodies and of course some favorite perfumes that I reached for the most in the past month. So if you are interested in seeing my February 2022 favorites, then let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I am so excited to share some of these goodies with you. I don't know exactly where to start, but I think I will start with skincare. So this past month, I was able to go and get an amazing Biologique Recherche facial and my skin really needed it. I had not had a Biologique Recherche Facial in three years. And I'm so excited because Lux Atelier opened here in Lake Oswego, Oregon. And Angela Morgan is the owner. We have become fast friends. And I went and got an amazing facial at her spa. My skin just felt amazing after the facial. She did this really awesome like lifting technique and I had told her afterwards that I felt like my face had kept the effects of the facial for weeks. Like it felt as if my cheekbones and my eyes were lifted after the technique that she used. And it was just a truly amazing facial. And I recommend that all my local Portland friends head on over to Lux Atelier. I promise you will not regret getting a facial from Angela or anyone on her staff, but it was just an amazing experience. I'm already a huge fan of Biologique Recherche, so this is uber exciting to finally have it here in Portland, Oregon. So if you are traveling to Portland, definitely book yourself a facial as a little treat. And if you are a local, this is definitely worth the splurge. Your skin will thank you. She will also give you the appropriate products for you and your skin type, which is always so helpful. So that was definitely a highlight in the month of February. I have been looking forward to her opening that spa and it was definitely worth the wait. I did also pick up a few skincare items. The first one is Creme MSRH, and I have gone through a few of these before, so this is not a new product. This is just basically the cream that my skin loves from Biologique Recherche. They have a variety of moisturizers to pick from. This was the cream that was recommended to me from the get-go. This is for more mature hormonal skin, so this is not for my young friends, but it is just an amazing cream. My skin loves it, and it actually smells really good. So if you're familiar with with Biologique Recherche products. They are very effective, but not everything smells wonderful. They do not include perfume or anything like that. I always tell people it's not like a fluffy luxury brand. It is a super effective luxury brand, but there is some products that may not smell like perfume and such. But this particular cream not only is hydrating and luxe feeling and plumping and has all the anti-aging ingredients packed in it, 
but it also smells amazing. So it's just a dream to use. And as much as I try not to like this expensive cream, it is just one of the creams that my face just drinks up. It loves it. And I ended up picking this up with a little gift certificate that my hubby gave me for Christmas. I also picked up Serum Matricial, and this is a toning serum for your body, but I actually picked it up along with this little Biologique Recherche glove. This is the mini glove here, and I was telling Angela that I was very depressed about my neck and the loose skin that is happening underneath there. And she was saying that they recommended the Serum Matricial. This one's for the body and to get the little glove and that you can spray on or just put it in your hand and then go to town with this brush in an upward movement, kind of rapidly, kind of incorporating that toning serum into your neck and to see how that works. So I have been incorporating that into my routine. I did share that the other day when I did my updated Biologique Recherche Skin Care video. So if you wanna see it in action, check that out. But so far I've really been enjoying this and I've also been kind of using it on my decollete, which is another area that I sort of avoided. So I would be really good about the face on my skin, but not necessarily my neck and my decollete. And guess what? You're seeing the results now. So again, if anybody young is watching my channel, use your sunscreen and take care of your skin as Carolyn Hyron says from your TTs all the way up. So I so thought I would do a little PSA on that as well. Now another favorite from the month of February is actually my nails. I have been incorporating doing gel manicures and many of you have been asking me what shades I've been using in my nail polishes. But this last time I went, my nails had kind of broken off. I could tell that they weren't doing very well probably from getting these gel manicures and she suggested that I try the dip, the powder dip nail polish. And I have to tell you, you guys, it is so cool. I Clearly, I am not a big nail girl. This is all kind of new to me. But these nail dips are super cool. Like you literally are dipping your finger into a powder and then she will put a coating on top of it and go through that a few different times. And she says it is better for your nail beds and that it will last longer. So I actually went with sort of a milky pink. This was called Pink Ball Gown. And I believe the brand was Dip and Dab. That was what they used there. But I have to say, I thought it was super cool. I didn't know all about this cool powder dip nail thing at all. It was all new to me. But I do have to say, I do feel like my nails feel a bit healthier and they are still shiny. So this is my nail color for the next few weeks and they do feel a lot healthier. So that was another highlight from the past month checking out these dip nails. Okay, moving on to some makeup items. I will say I am loving the trend of all these new neutrals that have just been launched and I can't seem to get enough of the neutrals. So I have fallen in love with the Tom Ford Cream powder formula. I started off getting one quad just to see if I liked the formula and that was Rose Topaz. As you can see, this one is a well-loved eye quad and this is going to be your perfect everyday cool toned eye palette. And then I had to go ahead and pick up Smoky Quartz. 
and I think that one might be my favorite. This is the all matte one. It's actually what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I've been reaching for this so much. It is again just a perfect everyday eye look but this one's going to lean a little bit warmer. It's got a little bit of cool and warm in this eye quad as well but I just love the effect on the eyes and this is another winner. And then I went ahead and picked up Tiger Eye and this one has all these beautiful little shimmers in here. So to me, the combination of your smoky quartz and your tiger eye, if you want to add a little bit of oomph, these are like sister eye palettes. I kind of feel like they go together. They're very complementary. They work really well together. So you can wear some of these matte shades and then top it with a little bit of these beautiful shimmers in the eye quads. And I love all three of them. So if I was to only buy one or recommend one, it would probably be the all matte version in smoky quartz because this is just such a perfect everyday eye quad. But I've been reaching for all three of them. I'm super glad I picked them up because I really love this cream formula. It works fantastic on more mature eyes and I was trying to explain that I feel like it meshes into my eyeball a little bit so I am definitely wearing eyeshadow, but the way that they wear sort of looks a bit more natural because cream shadows can sort of sometimes get eaten up by my eyes. They may not stay, but this is the best of both worlds where you get that cream appearance, but you get the longevity of a powder shadow. So I have fallen in love with the Tom Ford Cream Eyeshadow Palettes, and I'm personally hoping that they create more eye palettes with the same formula. That's how much I love it. Now speaking of neutrals, M Cosmetics sent me their whole masterpiece collection and I've been very intrigued by that brand for quite some time and I have to say their products are stunning and they are such good quality. And I have to say that I love both of these eye palettes. We have the Rodin. This is your everyday neutral eyeshadow. Just a classic and it's so beautiful on the eyes. And then we have Da Vinci that's going to create more of a sultry brown eye look. But the quality of these shadows, they kind of remind me of Natasha Denona shadows. They are buttery and creamy and they have these beautiful shimmers in here that truly make your eyes pop. And if you have not tried anything from M Cosmetics yet, I definitely would hop over to their site Everything that I have tried so far, I have loved, and I'm excited to continue to play with these products. So the Masterpiece Collection, right up my alley. It's all about the neutrals, and I truly love that whole collection. So more neutral eye palettes, but these are going to be at a bit more of an affordable price. So same great quality. We're just not paying for that Tom Ford name. <laughs> And then one more eye quad that I absolutely love. You guys knew I would, and that is the Shantakai. This is the Giraffe Eye Quad. And guess what? It is in my favorite neutral colors. And the reason I love this one is that it's got some beautiful matte colors when I want to wear just a pure matte eye look. But then it's got the fun sparkle that I love. Like this color right here is so outstanding on the eye. Like this color right here. That is this one right here. I would buy a single of just that color. That's how much I love it. It is just so pretty, but it really makes your eyes pop. So with this, you get a little bit of the best of both worlds. You get your mattes, but then you've also got some sparkle. And then up at the top, you've got this like ivory multi-chrome color that is going to look a little bit different on everybody's eyes. On one of my friends, she says this color actually pulls a little bit more olive on her eyes, like it pops her 
green eyes a bit and I noticed that a little bit on myself as well. So I love the fact that this little color over here is going to kind of morph and pull a little bit from your own coloring and tone and look a little bit different on everyone. So this is another beautiful eye palette and this is the one that I took on my trip to LA with me. One and done. Okay, moving on to blushes. I have two blushes here from Chanel. I was going to pass on these, but I'm actually really glad that I didn't. I picked up the two blush releases from the Comet collection, and we've got the Pesh Cosmic here, this really light pale peach color, and then we have the Coral Etoile, and I know that this looks a bit bright in the pan, but this is actually what I'm wearing on my cheeks. I combine both of those together and I have just fallen in love. So this was one of these that you guys kept telling me that no, you actually need to pick these up. These blushes are super buttery and I feel like it just gives my skin this very healthy glow. So this one's going to give me a little pop of color and I don't want you to be afraid of it. You do need you do need to go in with a little lighter hand. I had to figure that out the hard way. And then I love to top it with this gorgeous pale peach. Now I know that is a little extra. These are the two of them combined, but I just feel like it is so pretty on the cheeks. And even though this Pesh Cosmic is a pale color. I consider myself to be light to medium skin tone and when I first got this I was like oh it's not going to show up on my skin but it actually is so pretty on its own especially if I'm wearing a more intense eye where I want a little bit of illumination on my cheeks but I don't want to take away from my eye look this is perfect for that. It will show up on the skin. It will just be a bit more subtle. And these blushes actually look beautiful on the eyes as well. So remind me, I need to show you this on my eyes. So I will do a video using those because they look quite pretty, very spring-like, and these can be a bit more versatile as well than just having two big pans of blushes. But I just wanted to say thank you for the nudge. I was going to pass on that launch and I'm glad that I didn't because this again, I took these blushes with me to LA and I wore them every single day and I just feel like it livens up my complexion and they're just really pretty and easy to use. Now, I have also fallen in love with the M Cosmetics. These are the Heaven's Glow blushes. And again, had not tried these previously. And I have it in Rococo, as well as Baroque. And you guys, these are gorgeous, neutral, illuminating blushes. They work well as a blush slash highlighter. They're so gorgeous on the skin. This is the Rococo color right there. And here is the Baroque color. And if you are somebody who loves neutral blushes, you love a blush that is going to give you a little bit of illumination. Maybe you're somebody who doesn't necessarily wear highlighter like myself. I don't wear that every single day. So I do really like those blushes that will include kind of a highlighter effect on your cheeks and these are exactly that. So another winner from M Cosmetics. Now as far as foundation this past month, I've still truly been reaching for and loving the number one de Chanel, the revitalizing foundation. This has probably been my most reached for foundation in the past two months and that is a big statement for somebody who loves foundation and loves to try out all the new ones but I did want to tell you still loving on this one but Mandy Davis had told me how much she loves this Cali Ray. This is the free dreaming skin tint so I had to run out and give this a try and she was right. This is an amazing 
tint on the skin. I wore this a lot while I was in LA and this one has sort of a blurring effect but it does provide you with a nice medium coverage and it feels like nothing on the skin. It reminded me a bit of the Kosas tint oil but that one always felt a bit heavy and not as easy to use where this is one of these very liquidy foundations that is easy to just put all over your face but it has this really pretty finish it's going to look healthy a bit glowy but not dewy it is also very self-setting i don't feel like i need to use powder with it at all and i actually love that so i can see why this would be a favorite too as we're coming into the summer months and may not be wanting to wear powder and such um, i feel like this is going to be a very natural looking foundation it's going to make your skin look healthy and wanted to give a shout out to Mandy. Thank you for making me buy this. <laughs> um, I have this in the shade 4, which I totally think works. I was thinking about getting shade 6 for the summer, so I will keep you posted on that. But just did a video using that the other day, so if you want to see it in action, you can pop on over there. But this is a winner from Callie Ray, and there is a blue eyeliner that I want to get that Mandy had posted her wearing that looks gorgeous. So I'm going to order that today. I meant to do that yesterday, but I'm going to order that. And I was asked if I'm getting the new Sicily cushion. I did, in fact, go get matched, and I do have that coming this week, I believe. So you will get to see that foundation. So you guys always let me know what products you want to see me review. I had been getting questions about that one. So yes, that one is on its way. There was another foundation. I'm forgetting which one it was, but you guys let me know what you want to see. I'm always happy to pick things up and review if I can find a good shade match, especially. Okay, lipsticks, I've got quite a few you. There was some lovely new launches this past month and I love the Shantakai Lip Sheiks and surprisingly my ultimate favorite was Jasmine and this is going to be your peachy nude and if you've been watching my channel for quite a while you will know that I gravitate towards those berry tones, mauves, pink beiges, and all of a sudden I've really been loving these more peachy nudes. So that's still a swatch. The lipstick is right here. This is Jasmine, and it is so pretty on the lips. So, and then of course I love Freesia. This is this color, but this is very much an Abbey color that I wear all the time. I know switching to a peach nude versus a pink nude may not seem like a big deal. I just have never gravitated towards those peaches and corals, and I have been getting more of those fun lipsticks and really enjoy and have been really enjoying them. So I've always been a fan of the Lip Chics because they're the perfect hybrid lipstick. They're a bit glossy, very hydrating, and just super comfortable on the lip. I find them to be perfect for more mature lips because they're not going to show your lip wrinkles or anything like that. They're just a little softer and more attractive on the lips, in my opinion. And then Sicily came out with their Fito Lip Shines, which again is going to be very similar to the Chantecaille Lip Chic, except that I find these to be just a teeny bit glossier, but they grip the lips like the lip cheeks do. So these are also outstanding and I picked them up in two colors. This is Sheer Blossom. This is Sheer Blossom. As you can see, this one is Abbey color. And then I picked up Sheer Petal that is going to be leaning into that pink zone. So trying a few different colors here. Both of these I think scream spring, but these are so good you guys. So I just want to show you real 
wig. We have two of the lip cheeks over here. here. And again, they're a more sheer formula, still glossy, but I would say that this Sicily, the colors that I got, have a bit more pigmentation in them and they also appear a bit glossier on the lips. So when I first read about them, I was thinking, oh, I better get deeper shades because they're going to be so sheer. That's not the case. You can get the lighter ones. They're still going to have plenty of pigmentation and these are fabulous. And then rounding out the lips, Merit launched their signature lipsticks and these are fabulous too. Now this formula is going to be a satin lipstick and the colors that I got are Fashion and baby and I love both of these. So these are not going to be as glossy but they're also fantastic because they're going to have a lot more longevity on the lips but they don't feel drying. And the other day when I included these in a video for some reason the clip of me swatching baby disappeared and I wanted to go ahead and swatch it for you now on my lips because this is a pink neutral beige. And this is the shade Baby. And I love this color because it's got that touch of beige that makes it have a little bit of an edge, if you know what I'm saying. This color reminds me of Charlotte Tilbury's Very Victoria. That was always my favorite shade before Victoria Beckham came out with her own makeup line. That was my favorite Charlotte Tilbury color. And when I tried on this shade Baby in Merit, that was the color that it reminded me of. So these feel very velvety on the lips and honestly, all of the colors looked fantastic. But if you are looking for a more satin lipstick, a clean brand, I would definitely check out these lipsticks from Merit. Okay, a huge highlight from the month of February is that I traveled to Los Angeles to go to Parents Weekend to see my daughter and her school and her friends. And I also got to catch up with a few friends and subscribers as well and go to Scent Bar. I met up with Leslie and Janet. They are detoxers, friends, and subscribers to this channel and I just adore them. They are also fellow frag heads. So we met up at Scent Bar LA, that's also Lucky Scent, and we just had the best time with Dana. She was so helpful. We smelled so many amazing perfumes and it was just such a fun experience. So if you live in the LA area or you're traveling to LA, I definitely tell you to hit up Scent Bar. They have one location downtown LA. They have another one in kind of North Hollywood, I think is what they call the area or Hollywood. It's on Beverly Boulevard close to like Melrose and La Brea and such and it is just a great experience. So that was a huge highlight and during that visit I was in the mood for a sex pot fragrance and Dana suggested this beautiful scent from Victoria Menya and that is Hedonist. And of course, yes, the bottle is stunning. This is a big, beautiful floral explosion. It's got some tobacco in here. It's got a touch of vanilla, a little bit of woodiness as well. This is a fruity, floral, elegant sex pot fragrance. It's got a beautiful note of peach in here and I'd like to describe this as sort of like grilled peaches with honey drizzled over it. So there is a sweetness and then it's on this bed of beautiful florals. It is sexy you guys. This is a sexy fragrance 
very fun to wear. This is a head turner kind of fragrance. That was the mood I was in for that day and I just wanted to give Dana a shout out for steering me in the right direction. Love this perfume. Super fun to wear and for some reason I've just been in the feminine girly mode lately. Although I love my gourmand fragrances, I've really been wanting more of these fruity, floral, girly, sexy, fun fragrances lately. And the other fragrance that fits the bill for me is the Tom Ford. This is the Rose D'Amalfi. And I have fallen in love with this. This is a very fluffy, feminine, sweet almond rose scent. And it is slightly powdery, but super easy to wear. Fantastic transitional fragrance, kind of as we are craving more spring fragrances. This is definitely a yes for me. I really enjoy this fragrance. It is not super complicated or anything like that. It is exactly what I was looking for. Something that is pretty and feminine and just makes me feel good and puts a smile on my face. So really nice launch from Tom Ford, Rose D'Amalfi. I think a lot of people would like this one. And in that same vein, this is included in the next video that's coming up, so I thought I better mention it here, but this is Roja's Elixir. And this again is a gorgeous fruity floral scent. The bottle is pink, so it's got that girly feel to it, but this is Roja Parfums and it has a very sophisticated feel to it. So it is not too young feeling, but again, this one's got a little bit of fruit in it too. Some peach and raspberry notes in here on a bed of gorgeous florals, just like Roja can do it. And then it dries down to a soft, fruity floral musk. Very pretty, very pink, and I just love this perfume as well. Okay, moving on to some fashion items from the past month. And I don't know about you guys, but whenever I travel, I tend to pre-shop before I go on a trip. I will go out and buy a few pieces so that it's easier to pack. And I always like to make sure I have a comfortable pair of walking or running shoes. And I finally got on the Hoka bandwagon. So. I know that hokas have been all the rage for quite some time, and I wasn't so sure about them. I have always worn the Adidas Boost running shoes. Those were like my ultimate favorite, but I decided to give hokas a try because several of my clients love them, especially Allison had picked up a pair and said, I know that they look kind of bulky, but they are so comfortable. You've got to try them. And I ended up picking up up these in the Clifton 8. I don't know if you can see guys but they have kind of a goofy little tail on the end of them but I don't care because these are so comfortable. So if you haven't tried the Hoka's yet you got to get on it. There's a reason why everybody is wearing them. They are so comfortable. They're even beating out my Adidas Boost running shoes that I've worn forever, but these are fantastic. There was no breaking them in. I put them on my feet. My feet felt like they were slipping into little pillows. Went on a super long walk run and had no issues, no blisters, no breaking in period. These are just super comfortable. My husband also has the Gaviados and he loves those and those ones are a little bit chunkier but he swears by them so I may have to go and try that style out as well but the Clifton 8 in Hoka's highly recommend them these are comfortable and I actually think these are cute as well so picked those up before my trip and then I alternated wearing my Hoka's with also my Gucci. I believe these are like the tea sandals. And as I said the other day when I mentioned these, I really like the looks of these. These are comfortable to wear. They're just flat sandals, you guys, but they add a little bit of cuteness to your outfit. 
I would just wear them with my jeans, slip these on, and since I was in the warm sunshine, it felt good to get my feet off, show off my cute pedicure with my little sandals. So wanted to give a little shout out to these sandals because I really do like them. I find that they're subtle enough, but they add a little bit of cuteness to your feet as well. And the other day I forgot to include this sweater in my haul. I had been shopping on Abbott Kenny in Venice and they have a scotch and soda standalone store and they had their new spring collection out which was so adorable and I actually love the combination of orange and pink together. So glad that it is back in style this season and I could not resist this adorable striped sweater. This is a lightweight material so it's going to be perfect for spring and it is basically a loose fitting sweater. It's got a little band at the waist. Um, I guess this is the scotch and soda logo on the sleeve which I didn't notice when I was purchasing it. Basically, I'm a little bit of a prep at heart. Grew up in the 80s, preppy handbook, all of that stuff. And this sweater just sort of screamed my name when I was passing by the shop. Scotch and Soda has some really cute spring collection out. A lot of pink and orange coming at you this season. I'm also in love with these mother jeans. These are the Bitcher Crop Chew Jeans. They have a bit of a finished and raw edge. And these are a little bit of a wider leg. They are a straight leg, but they are still a crop, so they work for myself. I'm only 5'3", so finding those kind of wider leg jeans, but that are still cropped and don't make me look completely stubby, is hard and these jeans are so comfortable so you do need to size down at least one size so if you want them a little bit loose you can size down one if you wanted them a little bit more fitted you could maybe even size down two i just went down one size and they still fit very loose. So these are going to be a little bit more of your looser casual jeans. They will fit in the waist area, but they have a little bit of give in the thighs and a little bit more of a wider leg. So just love these mother jeans. So comfortable. The denim is soft. and amazing. Okay, I have two spring shirts that I wanted to mention. This is from J. Crew, and this is this cozy gauze button down shirt. You guys, this is just so comfy to wear and it comes in a lot of really great colors. So this one is sort of a lavender slash pink shade here, but they had this really pretty green color, almost like pistachio. And then they have it in white. They might have it in black too, but I love this shirt and the texture of it. So I wanted to tell you, J. Crew, this is a fantastic pick as we transition into spring. And then I got the white sort of smocked gauze shirt as well. These are very breathable, very California shirts. And this one again came in some really cute colors. And I just love wearing white shirts with jeans and my little slip on sandals. Just an easy look, but you are kind of put together. So wanted to give a shout out to those two new blouses that I picked up from J. Crew before I left for California. And we're also going to Monterey in a couple weekends. So I figured I'd get a little bit more wear out of these shirts as well. And then I have a few fun pieces that are showing up from Veronica Beard. They have an adorable store on Melrose and Zoe and I did pop in there while we were in LA, took a little peek around and I fell in love with a few things. So, and those items are showing up tomorrow. I am so excited. So those will be included in another video, but I do love Veronica Beard and there was just a few items that I could not live without. So I will flash up a picture of what I picked up so far, but 
but clearly we will need to see them in person. So I will be showing you those Veronica beard items. And then last but not least, my hubby got me a very sweet Valentine's gift this past month. I was telling him that I wanted to go ahead and get an Apple Watch. I am somebody who can be a little bit neurotic about tracking, so always need to be a little bit careful on that front. But he ended up getting me not only an Apple Watch, but he got me the Hermes Apple Watch. And I love the band. So this is the band that I got here. So let let me take it off for you. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see, but it has a very cool watch face on it. And then I fell in love with the band that wraps around like a little bracelet. So I got the classic Hermes Rouge color. So just a very nice leather. So just a very nice leather band, but it wraps around like a little bracelet. And this watch does so much. Make sure that I'm getting all my circles filled for the day. So I love that accountability as well. But, but these watches actually do so much. And from a health perspective, I wanted that little extra push to kind of get me moving, especially on days when it is rainy and gloomy and I am not motivated to get out. The watch has been helping me give me that little push that I need to say, go ahead, put your gear on and get outside because you need to get your circle for your steps. So yep, I'm one of those crazy trackers, but I absolutely love my Hermes Apple Watch. Thank you so much, Steve. That was very generous and very sweet of you to gift it to me. Uh, we started out with me saying, I was like, I think I want to buy an Apple Watch. And I was just kind of talking to him on a walk that we were doing that I kind of wanted to get back into tracking. And he's like, oh, I'll buy you one. And then we kind of got on the site and then both of us saw the Hermes ones. And then we were like, these are so cool looking. And since I'm going to be wearing it sort of like a piece of jewelry. So then he was like, we might as well go ahead and get the Hermes Apple Watch if you wanted and I loved their bands. So that's the one thing I love too because you can trade out the bands, kind of mix it up a bit, but I actually love the Apple Watch. So if you're not going to get the Hermes one, which I understand, but if you're someone who needs a little nudge or a little motivation, I have found that the tracking abilities that the tracking of the Apple Watch has really helped me kind of push me into more activity and it just gives me a little bit more awareness of what areas I need to work on in my life. So love that. was very surprised. That was a very sweet gift from my husband and he will surprise me from time to time with little sweet gifts like that and that was one of them. So oh. okay guys those are my favorites from the month of February. So happy that it is March and I'm looking forward to a very productive month ahead. So I hope you have a great day and I will be back with another video soon.